Howdy, folks. Torn and Sammy here for the Roll Call Podcast. Uh, got another unboxing for you today. This is probably going to be our last live unboxing that we do. Uh, this time we're taking a look at Epic PvP Fantasy, but let's get the business out of the way. First off, I want to say thanks for tuning in. Make sure you follow us on uh, Periscope so that we can so that you can get all of our unboxings and live gameplays that we do. Notifications for those. Uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way, in case you miss any of our videos, you can check them out there. We upload them later in the day. Uh, and don't forget about the podcast. We do at least three episodes a week. You can find us on iTunes, Stitcher, uh, even Board Game Geek, or wherever else you get your podcasts from. So, let's look at this one. Uh, this is a recently fulfilled Kickstarter from fun to 11 games and is being handled by AEG. And there's a big reason for that, and we'll get into that in a second. Um, this is the fantasy version of Epic PvP. It is the Kickstarter edition. Uh, they sent us a lovely little thank you notification. You may see a puppy head come into the shot. Uh, we'll get the glare off of that in a second. And we've got our add-on deck. Uh, they, uh, actually, through stretch goals, unlocked a bunch of extra characters. And we'll talk about those as we get into it. But right now, push her off of you then. Uh, let's get this box open. I, this is the Kickstarter Deluxe box. Um, retail versions will not be in this. And according to the thank you note we got, um, the only way you'll be able to get this copy is if your friendly local game store actually backed the Kickstarter or you happen to find them at a uh, convention or trade show or possibly uh, in a future Kickstarter. So you want to, oh, first off, I got to say, love the art. Love the artwork. Fantastic artwork. Go ahead and pop that box open. The magnetic closure. And you will see on the inside... Oh, can you pop that open? There are shelves with drawers. And they are labeled class and race. And then you've got a space for all your tokens and components and rules. And we'll talk about all of this in just a second. Uh, if you want to pop out some cards and tear them open while I'm describing the game and let everybody know what it's about... So this was uh, a game spawned by AEG's um, Smash Up. And basically the, uh, the concept is, there's our rule book, you're going to have a race and a class that you are going to put together out of the combinations that they gave you and make your, your team. Um, Epic PvP Fantasy is a head-to-head -head battling card game. At the start of the game, each player chooses a class deck and a race deck, then shuffles them together to create unique character combinations, such as a human paladin or a goblin druid. Each combination creates unique tactics and strategies to use in the battle. The goal of the game is to defeat your opponent by reducing, reducing them to zero life. Players do this by playing moves that act as both attacks and blocks, as well as with special cards and abilities granted by their choice of class and race. During a turn, a player adds a card to their aggression pile, then chooses how many cards to draw from their aggression pile into their hand. This player uses the aggression provided by the cards to remain in their aggression pile to play move cards to block incoming enemy attacks. If an attack isn't blocked, you take damage. Uh, simply, one damage per unblocked enemy attack. Then all the moves played by that player become attacks for the opponent to deal with on the opponent's turn. There's more to it than that, but that's the basics of the game. Uh, that's why AEG is involved. It is basically using smash-up mechanics in a uh, basically a competitive battle-style game. As you can see, Sammy just keeps pulling component after component out of this box. This very amazing box. Um, so one of the things I'm going to show off while you're doing that real quick, the race and class cards. A uh, very cool component to the race and class cards. So you've got your race, say we've got an orc here, and then you've got your class, in this case a paladin, and they're actually cut, and these are on thick heavy cardboard here, and they fit together kind of a small world style so that you have your characters your deck very cool and mix and match combinations the artwork is fantastic cars look good there's the orc the dark elf 
Why do I think that's a class? Class? Oh, <laughs> you like that one, huh? Mm hmm I can't get it in the... My arms doesn't stretch that far. The basic strike card for one of the decks. Uh, you've got the goblin, the human. Oh, sorry, my thumb was in the way. That would have been the high elf deck that she was showing you a card from. Oh, that would explain it. I like elves. And the dwarf. Not to mention you're a sexist player. You only play female characters. Yeah. And then for classes, we've got the monk, the barbarian, the paladin, the ranger, the rogue, the druid, and the samurai. And those are the ones that come with the base game. And if I can get this open, while Sammy's still playing with the cards over there. I do want to say, who is the manufacturer on this? Uh, AEG actually handled most of it. I would like to say thank you, AEG, for making all of your thingies have a tab that you pull to open them. Oh, do they? <laughs> yes. That is very nice. <laughs> um, so in our add-on pack, we have the Cat Folk. Ooh. And the halfling races. And the cleric. And the dark knight classes. So very cool there. I'm going to show you. Uh, we've got stickers to put into our box so that you can see them. Got some icons. Some character stickers there. Are there some kind of dividers to keep all of them? Yes, these are actually the dividers. Oh, oh, I get it. Okay. Um, we've got our tokens to mark things that happen as gameplay goes on. You can see there. And then we've got all of our little things so you can show, hey, I'm the cat folk. I'm the orc samurai. So we've got that. You are opening every deck of cards, aren't you? Well, you told me to start opening them. Okay, I'm, I'm, when we go to play, everything will be open. i, I got to say, I, I love the packaging that the Kickstarter mm -hmm. version came with. They could not have made a more amazing box. I had originally thought this was going to go into our big geeky box, but I think it's going to stay in its own fantastic box. Uh, so, just to give you an idea of some of the card art on some of these... There you go. I think this would be the monk. You can see the different types of strikes and attacks you've got there. And then the card back. I know initially there were plans that if this succeeded well enough, they would be doing um, different themes. This is the fantasy set. Any idea of the other themes? Uh, I believe they were going to do a sci-fi deck. A sci-fi pack. And again, uh, this borrows some of the concepts from um, Smash Up, which, you know, great casual game, incredibly fun, uh, in that you take your two decks and put them together. And that becomes your play deck. The artwork is fantastic. Uh, the cards are clear, easy to read. Any ones you want me to show off specifically? No, not really. And I'm not Gee. sure what that deck is. Is Gee. that a is that a micro game that they sent with the expansions? Oh, uh, we got the halflings. This came with the expansion, you said. Yeah, this was in with the the add-on decks. Oh, whoa! The base, the cat people. Cleric, and Dark Knight, so yeah, really, really cool, like the mechanics, um, big fantasy game fan. So this extra one is called How to Human, and it says, it didn't come with directions, but it says go on their website to learn how to play. Okay, so it is a micro game. Yeah. So we got this thrown in with our expansion decks. 
uh, How to Human. We'll have to check that out. And if you're unfamiliar, you know we've got Miskatonic School for Girls, a nice little deck building game, and Castle Dice, a die rolling game that we were not fans of. You can see the art on here. So I'll we'll have to check both of these out and do a gameplay of each of these. So if you're interested, this should be showing up in a basic version on Amazon soon. That's Epic PvP Fantasy. Any thoughts on this one? I want to play the cat people. The cat people? Yeah. Did you have a class you wanted to use? Um, I don't know. We gotta Where say, we're starting off with two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. We're starting off with seventeen uh, decks to combo with, so that's pretty good for a base game. I think that's better than what uh, any of the Smash Up starters have given us. Yeah. So. We'll definitely be doing a live play of this once we get the game rolls down and have played a game or two. Uh, so be sure to follow us so we can see, so you can check that out when we've got it live. Uh, any other thoughts or comments before we finish this one up? No. They can't hear you shake your head. <laughs> I said no. Okay, so that's going to be it for this time. Uh, we'll see you around the corner. Happy gaming. I don't know. And I can't close the video.